there is one unit that since you came out in season three, I have been consistently dogging on her, okay? She is a unit who I did not like, and at the time, I think, let, let's be fair to me, she was not the best, but her passive over time has become one of the best in this game, maybe the best, right? And for when real-time PvP comes out, she will be a top 5 unit easily in that game mode. And we're going to show 3 cases of this in the JP tournament, and then we're going to bring her into PvP ourselves. I just thought it would be good to get a good idea how people use it, because obviously I have not been using this unit, right? Now, the title is not wrong. We got in Season 2 the Summer Yuno know, for free, sorry, the Summer Asta for free, and then in Season 3 we got Summer Yuno, know, and this is the last Summer Unit that we are missing, and so to me that basically means that in Season 4 or 5, but probably Season 4, we're going to be getting this Vanessa for free, and she will be amazing, okay, she will be an amazing addition to the roster not for right now i think a lot more for the future meta she will be just insanely good let's go over her kit which i did not have pulled up but essentially uh okay now she I, the main part i'm just going to talk about the main part of her kit then talk about everything else very quickly is this so at the start of the wave she grants protection to the ally with the lowest speed for two turns once per wave um this is great. What does protection do? You cannot select the target for an attack, obviously, if they're hit by an AoE, that's different. But, for example, taunt means you could only attack one person, but still, on the combo, you're able to target other people. So this means you just cannot target the person with protection at all. Now, for PvP, for real-time PvP, when you're fighting actual people and not bots, just imagine how strong it is. Two turns, you don't even have to use a skill, you just have this very strong now i think she got a bit of use over time because silence has become very good you have a 50 percent chance to apply skill to silence for two turns is good damage is not horrible but not good at all she does give herself basically um with skill page i'll count with skill page because you guys should have it but overall you can see i am running the defense because i just want to keep her alive if anything so without she just gets blessing of protection so once she blocks damage she restores her hp by eight percent of her max hp then her skill one's useless just bleed but yeah overall very good now i don't like her passive it was something that really annoyed me where you increased her damage res from like substats and all that just to kind of show you guys the damage res stat is this so i got her max dupe which <laughs> i very unfortunate but I think it's, what is it, at 350 damage res stat, max dupe, you get 35% increased damage dealt, but you have to get increased damage res to get more damage, but by getting more damage res, you might be taking away from other substats, so it just wasn't the best, but it's not a bad, like, so, uh, bad passive at all, but this is what basically defines her to where your Julius cannot be attacked, so the way you play it, you might be telling yourself, well, Vanessa has lower speed, she's at 103 speed, I gave her the plus 2 speed, she's still 105, Julius is at 107, how do you make this team work? Well, you just give Vanessa speed gear, and you give Julius no speed gear, and it's gonna work, that's, that's, that's it, right, that's it, now, um, you might say it's not really the best option, but to be fair, Julius cannot be attacked, so it doesn't really matter at all for that part. Um, and Vanessa is very strong to counter counteract you know. And Vanessa on a mm, I don't know if this I don't know if Vanessa is gonna be good on green anymore because if Mario Leona is at hundred speed, Fauna just base is at 109. So it's gonna be hard for Mario Leona to outspeed Fauna where you want Fauna to be the one who gets the protection in that team. So I think Vanessa lose her, uh, like, basically her edge in that team. But the team we're going to be looking at is this one right here. Or just similarly enough, it's going to be basically uh, Charlotte, Vanessa, Julius, and then either Noel or William in that last slot. It doesn't really matter which in a lot of cases. And uh, this team cooks, right? Vanessa is going to be giving the protection to Julius, so he cannot be attacked. So we're going to check this one out first, and we're going to go to the... I think it's this one. Yeah, this is the final match. This is basically the finals, right? So we're going to go for that second. But I wanted to show against a Black Asta team uh, first. Because or else here, it's I'm pretty sure it's a mirror match. And I just... Mirror match... Uh, let me turn off the volume. Mirror matches to me are not that fun. Uh, well, it's pretty much a mirror match. So I'd rather start with two different teams to show how oppressive it could be. And then go on to the next thing. So we will not see, for example... Um, okay, actually, no, you do. So you can see Julius cannot be targeted. So you know, basically, you should be going for Charlotte, if anything. That's probably the best way to play this. But I'm going to put this on, like, uh, 1.5 times speed. Because these... It's real time, right? By the way, just to say, this is real time PvP. Which is why um, I'm kind of, like, showing it through this. It's important that people know that um, this is an actual... Like, it's real people, right? So he goes for this skill, too, which makes sense. Because you'd want to save that um, alt, maybe for later. He gets the silence... Now, honestly, I feel like that skill too at first, honestly, no, it wouldn't have made much difference. 
because no matter what, he wouldn't have attacked um, before they got it off either way. So I, I like just in general, it made sense. Um, I guess they're playing it slower. Now, they have the edge still um, because of the main fact that, well, you know, Julius cannot be targeted and the AoEs are not doing damage because he has barriers and everything. So she gets the damage reduction, which honestly, I would have probably targeted Charlotte, but maybe maybe he has another plan. Um, I don't think this guy wins. So I think overall, he kind of messed up there. Because even if you can't target Julius, you could still like kind of make it so that you could do damage. Because in this case, that extra damage reduction um, is probably... Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. so that is unfortunate. Uh, so yeah, he couldn't do anything about that because of Vanessa. It's such a strong skill to have when you really consider it, right? So yeah, uh, sometimes this shit gets quite long, but um, I'm very excited for how it plays out. But no, you just can't stop Julius from going crazy on this team, right? Now he has immortality, but what is he going to do? He can't like do much against it right he still julius has a second life because you couldn't do anything about him and julius did so much damage right so that was it for that right um in this case it did definitely help him because vanessa is the biggest counter to you know because you know obviously puts that two turn absolute silence and then like your unit is like kind of cucked over but yeah for that definitely very strong on to the next one though uh this is the first match that they fought so like this is like the freshest we could get it so yeah there's a noel team and then there's a william team i think if you hmm, honestly it provides the same outcome in some cases when you think about it right noel applies the 30 no 40 percent reduced damage dealt to the dps's william just reduces everyone's damage by 40 percent so he makes the dps she makes the dps's do less damage but william makes it so that everyone takes less damage no matter who so it really does depend. Now, there is the fact that William does let Julius's combo go crazy, which is good because obviously he has the 40% defense pen for him and the partner, William. So yeah. Now, the enemy team has just quicker units in general. I don't know. That's a bit interesting though, that uh, the Charlotte is quicker than the William. I don't know how that even happened because Charlotte's at 124 speed, William's at 126. So did she go for the skill two and not the ultimate? Interesting. Wow. So she's saving her ultimate. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess, right? That's that's an interesting way to play. I've never really uh, considered playing like that. Um, but we're going to just have to see how this ends up playing out. Because now we see two teams with two Juliuses you can't attack. So this is going to give you guys a good idea. And me also, because I need to just, well, see it in practice first. I haven't really checked it out too much. I just know this team has been very popular recently. And I wanted to end up trying it out. So yeah, Noel, it, especially for someone like Noel, who's single target, this really does diminish their value a bit. But Noel obviously still has a lot of other things that... Do help her out and on her skill too she has the aoe sp minus so the best way honestly would be to use that sp minus on probably vanessa but she doesn't do that which is very interesting because then you would have been able to stop julius's ultimate but i guess did she use the, she did not use the ultimate so that would make sense in this case uh i did forget about that fact using the combo is quite interesting um when the skill to apply silence right because that's uh, the ultimate apply silence right because vanessa's ultimate is actually very strong in this meta for two turns right it even makes it so that julius if he if you landed on julius julius gets a kill that second turn when he at his extra turn he can't use the skill too which is obviously is like it's oppressive as hell right so very interesting that he went for the combo to just do not that much damage to charlotte but in a way i kind of get it but i still feel that it would have been better to um actually go for the alt because it's also aoe right so there is that right oh one sec i don't know what happened there all right so uh now it's the julius's turn this is where it gets interesting and uh so he just goes for charlotte right uh, i mean makes sense he, his skill two wasn't really going to do too much and i guess that's how you're really playing julius in this meta because well you can't use this alt and i mean these games go on for a while wow that was a very lucky stun that is another thing about William. His stuns are very good. Now, is she going to use the alt? I don't think she can, right? Because she, yeah, she had her SP lowered. All right. So at this point, you would probably just hit Charlotte to get that extend debuff. There's no other way around it. And also give her the SP minus. Um, if she, why is she taking so long? This is the this one is a no-brainer. This one is honestly a no-brainer. I mean, just getting the SP minus is the main thing, right? Um, and yeah. So, hmm. Interesting. All right. I, I mean, at this point, yeah, you could see Charlotte on both teams are the ones they try, they're trying to get rid of. Um, going for Vanessa, though, is interesting. I'm guessing the, by the way, just the, what's it called? The protection's probably running off this turn, I think. They should have this last turn with protection and then it's done, right? That's going to be my guess. Okay, so he goes for the skill two now. 
That is interesting. Uh, Julius should... Okay, so he's able to target Julius now. Your best bet is to kill Charlotte with the ultimate. Right? I'm not I'm not tripping, right? Is that what... It, okay, I forgot Julius does do damage. That is another way you could have done it. Actually, much better. I'm, I'm stupid, right? I am stupid. There you go. And that's game. So, yeah, it's really... Uh, whose protection runs out first is probably a GG. So sometimes having a slower Julius on this team is not bad. But you do need to have like tanky ass units, which is why I put the defense scope page on Vanessa. Um, and at this point, I mean, there's not really much more to go over. It is a wrap because you, you just know, like I'm skipping. It is lasting a while. Like this is uh, almost a minute skipped and they're still here, right? Why? How? How? That was a while, bro. Okay, so we're done that. Now this one, do we really want to go into it? Because I've already explained for two videos, right? So... Hmm, this is this is like the same thing, but now it's like two Noels. But I'm pretty sure this game goes on a while, right? So I mean you guys get the gist. Um that was not the winning championship. This one was. So congrats to this person. Actually, wait, let me pull it up. I did actually get the tweet on my uh Twitter, and this person won the championship, got two dupes, two skill page dupes also. Um got the border and I think extra like a lot of crystals. I think he, yeah, he has it here, 10,000 crystals. So like, yeah, this is a lot of stuff. So anyway, Vanessa gave him 10,000 crystals and uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. So remember, this is the team we're going to be using with Julius. We're going to do the Noel version because I do rather Noel, but we're going to see, maybe we're going to want to switch it up with William. Uh, I haven't used this team, so it's very possible that we do end up losing. Now I want to say something. This unit at the moment, there's not really much of a point because we only have real time arena versus bots. But once real, uh, real time, once we only have arena versus bots, no real time arena. But once actual PvP comes out, this Vanessa will gain a lot of value. So it is someone that you definitely want to pick up. Now for her skill page, um, is it really that important? I, I mean, it, you're just better off running like the one I have on right now, right? Um, her skill page is not really that good. You know, it gives her extra magic attack if she gets the block, but uh, 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 uh. -uh. Bro, if I messed up the protection shit and I have to give Vanessa more speed, this is going to be embarrassing. But Julius is at 107 and Vanessa is at 105, but she increases her speed. Oh my god. Note to self, give Vanessa four speed. Um, I forgot that it's basically your base speed that it goes off of the protection. So it's the person with the lowest speed at the beginning. Um, and Vanessa was at 105, Julius 107 base speed. So yeah, make sure you get that four speed, for, or four set speed for the extra five. All right, let's go back in it and make sure that I'm not an idiot. Um, yeah, so I've never played this team. I decided first time, let's try it in the video after looking at those uh, couple clips that we did. So, all right, so she's going to go for the damage reduction. Uh, we're going to probably have to make it so that Lotus can't ult. And then Julius won't be a problem. So, you know. Because the thing is, Jul like DPSs have low defense, right? So obviously, no matter which Julius it is, it's essentially a one tap, right? Our Juliuses do a lot of damage. It's come to that point. So making it so that I can't, my Julius can't be targeted, right, is just the way to go. I genuinely think it's just such a toxic. Not yeah, no, it is toxic. I was gonna say not, but it is very toxic. So his alt, uh, he can't alt, and there we go. We're gonna alt, right, so that they can't use their skill too, which is mainly gonna be good with Black Asta, because if we do get him in the anti magic range, we don't want him to use his skill too. Fuck. Okay, well, anyway, Julius can't use it now. There we go. All right, so SP lowered because of that. All right, SP lowered again. And, well, that would have been nice if they couldn't use it, but whatever. I mean, not the biggest thing. And at this point, I'm just going to AoE to kill Lotus because I want to kill Lotus, but I don't want to waste the alt on him. And yeah. So we're going to lower Charlotte so that, you know, just for that. All right, perfect. She's in the back. Everyone goes up now. And at this point, um, I, I'm just going to... Do I... I'm... <laughs> I don't know who to put it on. I'll just put it on Charlotte. Why not? Why not? That's just a bunch of stuff for Charlotte. And now we get to kill Julius. We're going to leave Asta for last because then he gets very toxic. We should kill. Yep. Julius damage goes crazy. And uh, Black Asta is not really much of a problem. We just got to get rid of Charlotte because or else it will get annoying. We'll use this skill too. So we'll see the... Does she get the blessing just to like have an, like, an idea Okay. Well, go for Julius. That's fine. Um, we'll have our second life. <coughs> We just don't want her to kill. Uh, we don't want him to kill. So, I mean, that's fine. I don't really mind using it on Asta so that he's all the way back there. Uh, he's not going to fall in anti-magic range. So it's not really a bad thing. We're going to put this on Asta so that, well, he's taunted on Noel. That's the main thing. And also for the SP minus on both of them, both uh, Charlotte and Asta so that Charlotte doesn't have any chance. Now, at this point, I'm going to use the 
skill two for Julius so that I could kill Julius. Or I guess I'm not killing Julius, but I'm going to stun Asta unless he has stun block. Does he have stun block? He does not. So we're going to stun Asta unless we do too much. No, we don't. So we're in a very good spot right now. We're going to be able to slowly tick away at uh, Charlotte. I should have done that on Asta. I'm actually really stupid for not doing it. But Charlotte is going to be dead very soon. I would like to use this, but also at the same time, it just feels so wasteful when I'm about to get the ult. So that might kill... Might... We're going to have to use this. Okay, that's fine. We're going to make sure to at least get that kill. Extend debuffs, lower SP, make it so we can't ult. We're going to use our damage reduction to save Charlotte and Vanessa. I think Vanessa should be able to tank Black Asta and Anti-Magic. We'll see the turn after. Not this turn, but next turn. So I, I would have liked if he attacked Vanessa because I just want to see the uh, amount of healing that she gets. It's probably going to be like 8 to 10k. Nothing more. All right, so we'll just do this. And then I think he's going to die before he attacks. Uh, well, it's whatever. We'll just, we're we're going to combo. Is Vanessa's combo good? I didn't look at the combo. I feel kind of embarrassed now that I didn't look at the combo, but let me see. Just to quickly note, she has my favorite type of combo where basically if an enemy has a certain thing, she gets increased damage by 50%. So like 10% here, 10% there. So this is the same thing as Julius's combo. So this will actually not do that bad damage. Uh, it's just that Vanessa is not really built um, as a DPS because we're building her with four speed. So there is that fact, but yeah, it is decent if you are building her like a DPS, but it's mainly just to like combo with Julius. All right, um, still very annoying that obviously you can't see the units till you're in. Now this team is going to be interesting because there's an AoE, but Noelle is not really, uh, she ain't cooking anymore. She, she ain't cooking anymore. Um, so Julius won't really be a problem. He can't attack Julius. Noelle might be because I don't want her to really alt and do that much damage. Asta won't be a problem. I'm just like considering using this on Noelle, taunting her, making her do no damage. Right, this is the way we're gonna play it for now. At least their SP is all lowered by two because of the fact that that was toxic. That was actually really toxic because we got the counter, so Noel attacked us, which gave the other SP minus one. So if we get the silence on Asta, this is the best case scenario. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so Noel, ah, uh, that's a bit annoying, but that's fine. We get another SP minus one. Attack Charlotte, which is more than fine by me. Now we're gonna kill Julius. Get his first life out of here. And then we're going to slow Asta down since he has a bunch of uh, mobility. Julius doesn't die, but... Oh, I was going to say... I was going to say that Charlotte could kill him, but no. Why does Asta... His Asta is built as a DPS. Because there's no way he's not. Because Julius and Noel... It's not like there's... I saw it was like 260k CC. So they're all built, which means Asta's on a DPS build, which means we have to be very careful. But he can't use his skill too, which is the only thing I'm worried about. Uh, we could get rid of Julius with other people. We're just going to make sure to clean everyone out. I'm just going to use this. And then use Vanessa. We're just going to skill 1 since the skill 2 would be pointless. Now, Asta, let me... Am I right? Yeah, I was right. 27k on a skill 1. Was that through damage reduction? It was not. But just 27k on a skill 1. It is Black Asta, right? But like once he falls under, he should be doing more damage under the threshold. We're going to put this on Julius. Give him, give him the ult, kill Charlotte, then slow Asta down to Oblivion. And that's GG. He is not getting his ult. My guy is not getting his ult. We're going to strip him of, of his buffs. Look at that. It's so beautiful. Then we're going to do this, kill Charlotte. And then there we go. It's, it's great, right? It is great. Especially in this type of meta. Um, having someone like Vanessa to just give that passive is great. You don't... You don't see it, like, it's not physically, like, shown to you, her value, but you just, you could tell, right, in general. I think a lot of you guys will be able to tell. Uh, we're gonna go for the taunt. Okay, because he is gonna be in that range, so we're gonna have to see. If he's not using his skill too, we'll be fine, but even if he is, it should be fine. Okay, yeah, perfect. That taunt definitely uh, did save us. Well, not save us, because... The skill one was only going to kill one person and Julius had his second life. But it's still good that it was Noel. At least Noel just like carried, you know. You know. So this team has very high CC. I think it was like 290k. Uh, so we're going to get to see how it would look with like DPSs that do a lot of damage when they cannot target the DPS. Which is the main thing that I want to kind of showcase with this Vanessa. Um, I didn't make it into top 500 because I was actually busy Saturday. But... Good news is that I, it's kind of cringe, but Saturday, Sunday, right, is very busy times. But I am uh, quitting my part-time job because y'all are great. So I will be able to start basically focusing on always making sure that I'm in the top 500. 
Um, but yeah, no, it's not hard to get. It's really not. Uh, whenever I play, I get it. It's just, uh, it is rough sometimes to stay in it just because I have to play the matches. It's, it's, it's it. That's it. Um, I'm not really sure who to go for. Like, I could just make Julius do no damage and then, you know, we'd be chilling. But at this point, is there is there really a purpose to it? We're going to do this. He's going to use this skill too, which might be bad. We're just going to have to hope that we get the silence and then Julius is, was, like, useless. We do not get it. I thought we did, but we didn't. 10k damage, it, not that bad. Noel, you do you, bro. You're not really doing too much. Um, Asta ha did a good amount of damage there. Good amount. Um, I would like to go for Van uh, Charlotte, but hmm. we're going to go for Asta. We do kill. That's perfect. And now we're going to target Charlotte. The other two should die. Julius, second life. And this is... Oh, please, just kill. Just kill. All right. Perfect. Perfect. And that's GG. All right. Good stuff. Honestly, very good stuff. Let me just say, I'm not kidding. I played five matches and I'm top nine. Like, it's not hard. Okay. It's just so this is the 320 KCC team you saw when I was showing you my rank. Now, this is going to be very rough, if anything. I'm, I'm very scared because uh, that Julius, 85k, Asta, 90k, Charlotte was like 70, was it? Maybe 80. So they're not going to be taking too much damage. Now we're going to put this on Julius to get rid of him because we removed the buffs, which means he's not going to have damage reduction. Or, yeah, he's not going to have damage reduction. He's going to do like no damage, right? Which is basically the best play. We're going to go We're gonna go for the silence. Their Julius is first, but How? I removed their speed buff and I have a sp I don't have my speed buff. That's true. That's true. Okay. We want to get this silence on Julius and Asta. The two units. We got it on Julius at least. So he's going to use the skill one. Charlotte is low. That is uh, that's not too good. So we do that. Then we're going to use this on Asta. And then we have to try and target Noel. We, we really got to try and get Noel out of here as quick as possible. Because or else it will not be good for us. Charlotte's almost dead. All right. Um, okay. Noel has damage reduction. Okay. There's no point in going for that. Where did all her buffs go? Or come from? I'm a bit confused by that. So we're just gonna target Charlotte because there's nothing else we could really do. We're gonna get Julius SP up. Keep Noel out of our sights until the buffs wear off, um, if they ever do. Target Charlotte so that she could. Oh, why don't? That's so weird. Okay. Anyway. We're going to put this on Charlotte. We're just going to try and chip away as much as we can. Mainly. She's going to... Okay, perfect. We have stun blocks, so that did save us. All right. Get the SP increase. So one more turn, and then Julius has the SP. Um, We could just go on Charlotte now. We, we're going to try and kill her. We have this. Okay, we're going to put this on the well so that she doesn't do anything crazy. This should be... This should work. They're both very low. That does worry me. Kill Charlotte. Okay. First life out. That's fine. We have another one. So we don't need to use this skill too. Maybe we should have. I just realized. Do we ult him? We should ult him, right? We should ult him. Come on. Okay. That's good. We stunned him. That was the main thing I wanted. We're just going to apply the SP-1 so that he can't ult us. Okay. That's fine to me. Why does that Noel do so much? Honest question. Okay. Now this is still something we could lose. Okay. I think we're fine. Oh, we're fine. Why are we? We're going to apply this. To taunt on Noel, obviously. Okay. We're fine. Unless Asta somehow goes speed mode. Okay. Julius. Don't fail me now. Damn, that was that was difficult. That is what I call a fun Black Clover mobile. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Peak. Peak. Okay. Alright. Love to see it. Love to see it. Um, I'm gonna try this on defense too, I guess. We're gonna put Vanessa, throw some people off. Change it here, bop, and then there you go. That's gonna be silly. So for the auto, I guess. Skill the alt first always. Um, we're gonna go for the alt here, right? And that's yeah, basically one two one two one two one two one two one two. All right. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was uh, that's Vanessa, bro. That is Vanessa. This was a very long video. 
Um, obviously because we spent our time talking about the tournament and like going in depth on her. But yeah, you will be getting her for free. She will be a free unit. 